What's up, YouTube fam? It is Mary. And Anna. And we invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because today we are going to be reviewing 90 Day Fiance the Tell All. It's like part two. Part two, you guys. So we are going to get right into it. I think last week they stopped off with Jabri and John arguing. Mm -hmm. So that is just where they picked right back up. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Jabri really, I think the reason why he, the way he re rationalized it in his head was that he was defending Thais because nobody stands up for her and he feels like John is overstepping his boundaries. He said, you know, you need to look at, you know, your brother, look at the woman he's next to. She's going to be a great mother. He's going to be a great father. Like you need to just stop being lonely and you need to go focus on yourself and everything. So he really roasted John and... And Thais was all there for it. Yes, she was like, well, she, at least somebody, you know, go ahead. She literally turned like this <laughs> away from her husband, looking over at, at, at <laughs> Jabri. And she was saying that Patrick never stands up for her. Yeah. Um, and Patrick, you know, everyone was kind of getting on him. And he was just like, all the men got on him, actually. You know, I kind of understood what he was saying. Because I also have a big brother who is very opinionated. So, like he was saying, it's hard to, like, he, all his life, this is his big brother. I guess he has looked up to him. He doesn't really stand up to him. So it's hard for him to do it in his adult life. But, Patrick, you are a married man now. Soon you'll be a father. And you have to be able to stand up to your family if they go out of line for your wife and for your children. Yeah. Because sometimes families can say something to a child out of order, and you need to check them. And so you need to try and get that practice now with that um, Thais. Yeah. Um, but my thing is he kept on like he was smiling saying, you know, that's the right. best I can do or whatever and stuff. And personally, I feel like that's not the best you could do because no. what you could do is you can actually have him get the hell out your house. Like if you are too punkish to actually stand up to your brother, I feel like you can just tell him to move out. Well, like I he, think the you guys helps him with, in some business or something. Well, you can help your brother in business, and you guys can be in two separate households. Exactly. Like if that's really the issue, then he can move out. And if but, he's unable to get a house for himself, maybe you can help him get a half a house of his own <laughs> and let him go be by himself. But I think it's absolutely ridiculous, and I feel bad for Thais because it's not. It's like it's like she has to deal with so much. Like she has to deal with you being controlling. She has to deal with your alcoholic brother. She has to deal with her being away from her father. She also has to deal with you not really being the best husband or the best and being person. Away from her family during this pregnancy too. Exactly. So the least you can do is try to show her that you're on your side, on her side. But all you did was get her pregnant, married her anyway, and you're here now, like not even still checking your brother still checking your brother. So to me, I just feel like he's not doing the best he can do, and at this point, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Like I love my family, but if you know, if it's somebody that I'm trying to build something with and they're actually a good person mm -hmm. and I see something long term, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna whoo, yeah, check your family. Put a little dis out of a yeah. little distance, you yeah. know, a little distance, check them if I need to. Yeah. But I felt like that was completely out of order. Yeah. But I did think it was very funny how Thais was like, at least somebody stand up for me. Patrick looked so annoyed. He was like she turned her back, like literally like this. And Jabri was over here. And he's like, you know, so many stand up for Thaddeus. So many stand up for Thaddeus. And you know, I don't like this behavior. So that was Jabri. He yeah. was going all off, honey. On um, everybody. Yes. But um, so Bilal actually goes to um, dap up Jabri because they went to the back or whatever and they were still arguing or whatever. And John was talking about, oh, I'm going to drop him. And Jabri said, I'm going to drop him. And yeah. he said, I know how you are with your little boyfriend. You ain't doing nothing or whatever. So they decided to go back up after they had a break. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was still going at it. Like, he was going to um, knock, like, knock his lights out, whatever, stuff like that. And then Bilal comes, you know, the Muslim brother. You know, don't don't let anybody get you out of character, you know. You you got to maintain yours, you know. Keep keep it in line, you know. Don't let anybody do that to you. All for Jabri to turn around and say, Bilal Shahida won't make it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know personally do i think i don't think it's going to work with Bilal and shahida because one as you guys could see it was very contentious with them 
throughout the thing. He obviously still does not want kids. She's talking about, she was saying that, you know, Jabri, if he, oh no, I think he was, who was he saying? Kobe. She was telling Kobe, you know, if you want to know how to, you know, have sex and not get a woman pregnant, you have to talk to this guy. You have to talk to this guy. So I felt... Um, he's got a vasectomy. So you know, you he has a vasectomy. Make sure he, you need to get him checked. You need to be in the room when the doctor talking to him. Yeah. And see exactly if he's able to have kids. Yeah, I do believe that he has gotten a vasectomy. Yeah. And she just doesn't know. Because there's no way. Like, if... Anyway, I'm not getting into Muslim people business. Because as a fellow <laughs> Muslim, I'm not going to get all graphic. Right, But right. I feel... If, you know, all things that they're doing is happening and he, there's no prevention, then it's a red flag that he's not able to get her pregnant. And I feel like he's got a vasectomy. Or he taking male birth control. Because <laughs> y'all know that's a thing now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did that. That was a thing, but it is a thing. So I feel bad for Shahida. She seems so angry. Like, there's so much, like, pain there yeah. already. Yeah. And I just, that's why, if it doesn't work, it's strictly because of Bilal. Yeah. That's why I said, you know... And, and she just feels like the time is going for her. And like, she's 37, you yeah. know. But I think she might put up with him for maybe another year or two. <laughs> but after that, you know, she probably... If it comes 40, she's still not pregnant, then she definitely she is going to be gone. Yeah. You know, but there are women, I mean, but she will be an older mother. But I think yeah, that's, that's so okay. unfair because then it's like she can maybe... I mean, you could do a surrogacy. And have multiple children. Women are having children up in their early 40s. Too. And she looks healthy. Yes. I mean, all that yoga she's doing, she will be just fine. If it doesn't work out with Bilal, go find somebody else and have a baby with them. Someone yeah. who also who wants to have children. Hopefully someone who doesn't or have Or maybe any somebody kids. who don't have no kids. That's what yeah, you have to do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I feel really bad about Shahida. We're going to talk about what happened at the end with yes. them, though. Um, but I want to talk about... Um, Cara. Oh, I just want to quickly say something about Cara because when Jabri and Patrick were getting into it and he called him Trey of the Trash, honey, yeah. which I know is kind of, it's like what, you know, sometimes Caucasian people say, I guess, amongst each other to like put some one each other down or whatever. I don't know. People use Trey of the Trash or whatever. Yeah, I don't know why they use Trey of the Trash. I don't know. I, like, I, don't, I guess it's like the ghetto. What for what <laughs> maybe means uh, ghetto, right? Yeah. So anyway. Like how, you know, blacks will say ghetto. Yeah. You so ghetto, maybe that's what White people will say trailer trash. You all let us know. Uh, any um, <laughs> okay, <person you're> just... <laughs> in our videos, let us know. Does trailer trash mean this? Is it the equivalent of, of the ghetto? ghetto? Yeah. But yeah, okay. so Jabri called um, John trailer trash. Mm -hmm. And then Kara sat there with her pregnant self. You all let him call your brother just trailer trash. Asking, and Patrick, Patrick was like. <laughs> Anyway, Guillermo was sat there with his legs crossed, like. Guillermo <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, is too funny. Oh my god! Oh, but sure. yes, you guys. So, um, was it? So they were talking about. Let's talk about Emily and Kobe. Yes. Let's get into them. Now, what happened with Emily and Kobe is so they basically talked about them. Uh, basically, you know, about the whole breast milk thing. Right. About how I'm not sharing breasts with my son. You know. <laughs> Thais was so wild, bro, because she said Patrick will be here and then my baby will be here. And I'm right. like, <laughs> one breast for each. <laughs> I'm like, girl, <laughs> that ain't right. But so, anyway, but so, um, what is it? So he felt so, and then on top of that, they played this in front of the parents. I know, they and didn't I thought know that was he, so they out didn't of know line. What, what he had said in the confessionals. This is no, they said. did not. So the brush, so the. So the father would just look this way like, that was, yeah, get know. me the hell out of here. I, I felt know. like they should not have done that in front of the parents. Really not. And then they were talking, they also talked about Emily withholding her son from Kobe, Kobe which like, I personally thought was out of the line. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want yeah, to do that. I was that, annoyed that day for Kobe when she wanted to. Because yeah. you wanted to go get your sex on and you're talking about <laughs> it's the last time. Honestly, I feel like that was just a stretch and just a lie. Yeah. Because the thing is, y'all can always go to a hotel. Just like how you rented one that day, yeah. you could have always go to a hotel. Right, and, and you can just take a break from the from Exactly. The so I felt like that just wasn't right. Or like, tell Kobe, like Kobe was saying, at least prepare, tell me before I come. Yeah. So that I'm prepared that, oh, I'm going to 
we're gonna have our you know our intimacy, date nights and then and we'll then see. I'll see my son. Yeah. You so know. I felt like that was really unfortunate. They did, and you know, some somebody on Twitter said that you know if this was the other way, you would be in an uproar. And of oh, course, yeah, of course, true. because if I'm a woman, I want to go see my child, and you're a man talking about oh we need to go have sex first, and you're basically holding me hostage. Yeah. And like even Cole mm-hmm. was begging the confessional, like let me see my son, please. <laughs> Yeah. That was um yeah, so it, and I, I did think that was wrong. I thought she was dead wrong about that or whatever. But they did show her pregnancy to video and everything and stuff that like that with the placenta the pictures and all that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you see the placenta. No, but she was talking about what she did with her placenta, which I actually didn't know yes. that the placenta carries all the hormones. I don't know if she would have to ask her mom because she's a nurse to confirm. Okay. Um, but <laughs> the placenta is it like what hormones in the placenta? And then yeah, all that stuff. And I guess in all the nutrients, because that's what the baby feeds through. Yeah, yeah, so people actually dry it up or they actually cook it. And then they asked Kara, do you plan on doing that with your placenta? Oh, yeah, and she was, was like, well, we'll see. And then and then Guillermo crossed his leg, leaned on that couch, honey. He said, um, with all due respect to my wife, we ain't cooking that shit in my kitchen. <laughs> All of a sudden, he became he, his kitchen. I don't even know if he said the S word or if he said the F word. I think he probably said the F. And he was like, he said, no. He dropped so many, like, cuss words. I was like. <laughs> That's the first time we really saw him animated, actually. <laughs> Guillermo really needs his own show. Like, I would love to see um, Guillermo and Cara have a show because he is hilarious, yeah. bruh. But you know what is so far? His demeanor is so much more like older. Seems older <laughs> than like an old man. <laughs> oh my god. That's just hilarious. Yeah, so um, let's talk about Yvette and her friends. Yeah. Out of line, out of pocket. She knew she was dead ass wrong. That's why she kept on over talking people. She yeah. didn't let anybody get a word in yes. edgewise or whatever the case may be. Yeah. She knows now, as well. They don't do that in any culture. Not they don't do that. Culture. You don't meet someone. The first day and start porn. asking, are you in porn? Are you this? Are you that? Why do you think about when you were a virgin? How did you learn? Everybody has their first experience. It doesn't matter whether it's at. 18 it doesn't matter if it's at 50 whatever the case may be we all learn as we go so for you guys to go have all your breasts out and you guys know, know this man on purpose too yes they did this on purpose and then you were trying to make it seem like you were right and then it was like and then you know what well, she knew she was wrong that's why she, she was tried dead to wrong it to another conversation and started talking about Mohammed wanting and another sponsor, sponsor and all this stuff and all this stuff i mean i thought it was a little disingenuous on her part yeah, I just felt like it was completely out of line. I just felt just like Just apologize she, and say you know just, something. It was wrong. We did try to test you. You did try whatever. to you yeah. really did try to test him. That's what you guys did and everything mm-hmm. stuff like that. And really it's not even just about him being Muslim, but yeah. it's just about being an effing decent person. I know. That's all it is about. Yeah. And just having basic respect. Exactly. Like is this freaking you out? I know. All of that was not necessary. And then also your vet, you're talking about how oh he was a virgin and oh we had our first sexual encounter and I know men most of us will have prenatal prenatal sex. So you go and say y'all have pre I don't know if they have premarital sex or if they wait till they're married or whatever the case may be. But now you're getting all into your sex life with him. Like there's just no respect. Like he just looked like he wanted to curl up and die. <laughs> I was just like, I want to curl up and die for you. I know. <laughs> because you know, as a Muslim myself, I just feel like you don't want to guys talk about all that stuff. Like, like you on. just don't. Like it's like, personal. Now you're getting like, all in depth about what. And like, so if much. you like, and the thing is, some people might talk about their sex life, but that's after a while you've known that person and you feel comfortable. You don't know me. The last yeah. thing you should be asking about is my sex life. And you know, he he said a, he made a good point where he said that. Okay, so now, I mean, even if you find out that I'm good in bed, or I guess he was trying to say it or not, what does that have to do with you getting to know me? It's not like, like you know you, me on that do level. You know me, do you know me more that you ask those questions? Is that you ask those questions? Yeah. You know, the other questions to ask to get to know somebody. Yeah, so but, I yeah. thought that was crazy. But we have stuff to say about Ma- Muhammad later on. Yes, we do. Show. <laughs> Tatiana, though, is crazy, and Yvette is... Yeah, they retarded. Her, like Yvette, they were there telling her, "Stop, you gotta chill." I'm like, yeah. Anywho, anyway, they, they, they shook hands. 
and made up. I have no problem. But then with they you. went back again, and she needed to talk to him again to I was let like, him know. Oh, are you okay? Because last time you said you were okay, you were not. Are you okay? She has some odd people. Anyway, your yeah. bed needs healing. Because the fact that you have people like that who are your squad. Well, they are all they all seem to be the same though. Like they all seem to be a little. You know, well, many, that's but, that's the thing. Yeah. You, what the birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, that's what that mean. is. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about Jabri and Davi. Davi seemed very demure. He did not look like he was boosting oh, up his I chest know, and like know, wanting to he fight. Saw all the people around there and probably you know maybe Twitter Heard has got to yes. him. <laughs> yeah. Like, so he seemed really calm or whatever, some of that. I felt like Jabri, like, that man is, I feel bad for me, and I feel bad for the kids, because it's going to be like a Will Smith and Jada thing, where the father is, like, the center of attention all the time, uh -huh. and it's like the wife, you just have to be demure and just let him, like, and it's all about him. Yeah. Like, I couldn't do it. Like, it, <laughs> psh, we would not even get to an engagement, honey. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know how she does it. Yeah. But, so, he was just, like, really upset or whatever with Davi. They were talking about the whole thing with Miona, and he was talking about, you know, you need to be there. Like, you have not been there or whatever. And Jabri finally came out, and he said the reason why he even left the band, which we said mm -hmm. throughout the season, that the reason why um, he left the band has nothing to do with Miona. Yeah. Because whatever you were feeling before that had happened, it just intensified it. Exactly. You found somebody, you decide to use her as a cover a for why you left the band, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but now that it has officially broken up, now you want to say, oh, I felt like I was carrying the band on my shoulder, oh, right. and that's why I distanced myself, and right. I dropped the engagements and all this stuff. So it had everything to do with Jabri. Jabri it yeah. had nothing to do with and Miona. like Davi said, you could have actually just said so. Yeah, like how you're saying now, you could have just told us. That's it. Like yeah. I feel like you all are not pulling your weight. I want to have my own little solo career, and that's it. We can continue to be friends, but we don't have to be have that expectation of being in a band with you. Yeah, so they exactly. were able to make up, which was cool. After I he had after he had jumped up and had a hissy fit and left me on their shocked and her <laughs> mouth on the floor. Left <laughs> yeah. her there again. Me own again. You like, be left by alone. yourself, honey. Ooh. But yeah, so they did make up or whatever stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I am happy that they did. Yeah. Um, hopefully it will all work out. But he never invited him to the wedding. Yeah. Um, Anywho. But I feel like they that relationship was already contentious anyway. I think so. But yes. So let's see. I also want to talk because there's not a really Ari I, and yeah Binyam. Ari and Biniam. Of course the sisters. Um, Shahida felt like they were very disrespectful to Vinia. Well, no, to Ari by throwing the wine in the face, which I thought was. Like, alcohol burns. Mm. Okay, it burns. Yeah. But I feel like Ari should not have been there anyway. She mm -hmm. should have just let him have his time with his sisters you know, and everything. I, I don't mind. She should be there. She's his wife. But this is my thing. You're there, Ari, and you have, in a sense, you've already won because he's leaving to America with you. Yeah. Right? He's leaving to America with you. This is your last day. Like, I think both both Ari and the sisters, nobody ever wants to give in. This is the problem I have with both of them. Yeah. The sisters don't want to compromise. Ari doesn't want to compromise. This is Biniam's night. It has nothing to do with either one of you three. <laughs> and I mean, really, like, let him just have that night. But you guys could not let him have that night. And I didn't think there was any reason for Ari to make that last comment. Like, I don't even care about you. I guess you wanted to make one last statement before she left. But, honey, you can do that when you're in America by yourself and tell them off. But that was Where not you the place. Are in proximity that was them. not the place for you to say that and dare somebody. Because that's like daring me because I'm drinking my red wine. And you're telling me, my I ain't care about you all anyway. <laughs> I don't. Listen, I don't. <laughs> don't yeah, I mean, I don't um, like you know, any kind of violence and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I can see how that could happen like that. Yeah. Anywho. But yeah, yes, but guys. Wait. Ari has been in Oh my months. god. This girl, listen, I listen, and, I'm and not BDM trying to is in Las Vegas. She blocked and she left him. With, and she, she blocked, blocked him when school. she went because he had blocked her way before they got married. She he had blocked her then, so she brought what happened a year or months ago. She blocked and so decided to block him as soon as she, so she can't Ethiopia. talk to him or whatever. But she I was mean, there for three months. Probably didn't even let him go see the sisters. 
blocked him, took your baby. I'm sorry, I don't want to accuse nobody of adultery, but you was cheating. That's what the hell it sound like. You out here dipping and doing and shucking and driving. That's what it sound like. You blocked him because you didn't want to be bothered while you were doing you for three months. Like your marriage is in a good place. Why would you go and block him? It's very suspect. I don't trust her. And then also she said um, being in a committed relationship is scary. Yes. I thought that was scary. <laughs> what she said. I'm like. So I don't know. Was Leandro there? Oh. Or somebody Ethiopia else. Was or somebody else. Hanging out in Ethiopia. Were they doing the whatever work they were doing there? She said they were doing some kind of work. <sighs> yeah. Binium said she was supposed to go for a week. That's what she told him. And I mean, he, she ended up going in for three months of, of respect. Total respect that is there in this relationship. Like, Ari has, and I've always felt like she doesn't have respect for Binion and his family. Yeah. Um, just the respect that you should have as a wife. Like, I just never felt that she had that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? No. Very disrespectful. The whole Leandro thing, buying her bra, bringing it to the house. I know. All that rubbish and you know and the sisters knowing that all the stuff is going on like i will just not like you like just thinking of that culture the ethiopian culture yeah and just having this woman just be so damn disrespectful there it, it, it's just too much man it's quite a bit it's actually it's too quite much a, for three months you guys might as well be divorced and you know the sisters telling Binyam, yeah, of course she didn't have to tell her. Don't make sure you get your green card because after all the hell you put him through, he better get his green card so that he can stay, do his MMA, um, and make something of his life. Yeah, but do I think that it's going to work once Avi gets older? Hell no. I don't think Avi is being know logical why. I no. mean, anymore. I don't think so. Now I did like the fact she came to Binyam's rescue when everyone seemed to be trying to fry him out to dry especially that lady sean um talking about you know uh Binium, your sisters and what they did and all this stuff I and am. what they said about your green card they are grown but women no one really talked about the fact of this girl has gone for three months you know, like, that's just the reason why they don't check certain people on Like, it's show. just ridiculous. Um, like, you did not even... So I just feel as though sometimes Sean, sometimes I feel like she's biased very as biased. a host. And I guess maybe, you know, everyone has their little bias and stuff. But you're the host. Like, just address everything. Yeah. You know, but I, I did like the fact that Ari kind of came to his rescue a little bit. But also, um, I don't know why she was trying to play... Her trying to play victim, the whole thing. Like you're talking about bullying, you're talking about bullying. Me and him are with Merc make it. You already know you and Benjamin ain't gonna make it. So why you are here fighting so hard for why what Jabri said made no sense? And then every single time he opened his mouth, you're talking about how he's bullying, he's bullying. I wish he would have just shut the hell up. Like nobody actually cares, Ari. Like nobody cares. Okay, but we gonna close out with the. What's kind of bullying though? He was bullying everybody. He said, Shahid ain't gonna make it. The area be him ain't gonna make it. And he said, he said, but definitely Bilal and Shahid ain't make it. And they were, Shahid was so upset about that. But Shahid, the thing is, you know it's true because even when they were leaving the show or whatever, she was like bawling she was her eyes out. Crying. She, she was crying. She was there. crying so much. She's like, yeah. you know, he's upset. Well, apparently, she could tell that he was upset. He and was she pissed knew off. What she gonna go through when they get home? Yes, and he's very passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. I would not be shocked mm-hmm. if he was a cancer. And he hold a grudge like I don't know what. I would not be shocked so if he is tell. a cancer or Scorpio. As a fellow cancer, yeah. I do know how we can be. We are very passive aggressive people. Mm-hmm. If he's a Scorpio, from what I've seen on Real Housewives of Atlanta with Phaedra, um, it ain't gonna be a good marriage. <laughs> And um, she was there trying to explain to like, him. Like, you know, he's a good I man. To, like, I would I, not have come out this way if he was myself a, because I don't want stuff to fester. This is why I was saying. That's why your I other marriage maybe didn't work because, you know, you let it fester. But as your wife, I'm here to make it work or whatever. And, like and as she's talking about his ex wife, she starts to cry because I know she's seen herself about to be in that same position. That's what I truly believe. Girl. You know? I feel like much. she is starting to see everything come to life. Everybody, everybody left without tears except Shaheed. I said, 
it's gonna be a hellish marriage. I guess that's why Jibri said they were the least likely. Cause they were so contentious. Like even the chemistry with them was very contentious. You know, in Bilal, obviously he takes uh, what people think of him really matters. Cause he's like, you know, I thought I was here, you know, showing a nice guy, but I guess that's not what people are seeing. Hell no, that's not what nobody's seeing. They've seen you though. They've seen the, all the clips except for Guillermo. <laughs> Was they trying to praise you? And then he saw the clip. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> so that was a mess. But <sighs> y'all, Muhammad is here. He is on his sponsor's stuff. He oh was cheating on your vet. Talk about, about I want to put it down. And that's why I said oh I don't think goodness. you know. I don't want you to Muslim people business because I don't like that. But I don't think he was a virgin. The way he was talking to that other woman. Oh, I want to put. I want to be in the bed with you all day. I want to kiss you. And you know, we I just would, have I to. I would say he wasn't because I don't know. know. But that's what I was saying because he was so callous about it and the it, way he was talking about the bedroom stuff and everything like he said i just want to lay up in bed with you all day i just want to kiss you all night and you know we just have to hang in there until i get to my green card and then we'll be free and i'm like what is going on oh, yeah. and then he was like i have and to he, make it right i have to make it I right mean, when was you're he, was, like he, he was rubbing his eyes so hard they were red I could not believe this man was texting another woman, talking about uh, dipping and doing it with her. This is so not Muslim behavior. This was too much. And you're very Muhammad. Shame on you. And you're Muslim at that. You mm. cheating on your wife? Mm mm mm. Hot mess. The wahala. Anyway, well, y'all, that's Mary. And um, uh, <laughs> um, and we invite you guys to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Bye.